I get asked quite often what it is like in my daily life as an au pair. So my experience is very different compared to some au pairs because the kids that I am in charge of are 12 and 14. Um, so it's not like I'm changing diapers or um, feeding a baby all day long or entertaining a toddler. So it's very significantly different than what like a different au pair would experience. So kind of like a snapshot of what my week looks like. So on Mondays, I get up probably about 6, 10 in the morning, depending on how many times I sneeze my alarm. Um, and then I have to get Aiden up probably around 6.20. And so I get him up and then I'll come straight down to the kitchen, make sure he gets some cereal um, and he has to drink a special drink and I'll make sure he gets that and I'll get myself some cereal. And then by like 6.35ish, um, we have to go get ready. So he runs upstairs and starts putting his uniform on and I quickly run downstairs, brush my teeth, put some deodorant on, um, look presentable for the day. And then we have to leave to get into the city by 6.50. So Aiden has Corster practice um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. So basically every morning is like this except for Fridays. So after I drop Aiden off at school and he goes up to Corster practice, then I drive back home here. And usually around that time, Marina is leaving with Anthony and Rasheen to bring them to the bus stop in order to get into the city by 8.30 when uh, Rasheen starts school. So once she leaves, then I usually come back here to the house and start in the kitchen. So I'll tidy up whatever needs to be done, um, kind of tidy some papers up, wipe the countertops down, um, put the dishes away, unload the dishwasher, fill it back up, um, tidy up the lounge area, vacuum, uh, basically just make sure the kitchen is ready to go for the day, essentially, because I would say this is probably the room that experiences the most um, chaos because everything kind of ends up getting dumped in this room. So kind of takes a lot to keep it organized, but um, it, I've gotten the hang of it now. So then after I've kind of cleaned up the kitchen area, then I go upstairs and tidy up the bedroom. So I'll make the kids beds, um, throw down any dirty clothes, kind of tidy up a little bit. Usually the kids are really good about keeping their rooms clean so I don't have to do too much. Um, usually just throwing dirty clothes down and making the beds. And then once I've done that, Usually I come back down and then go start the laundry downstairs and start washing. So Mondays usually are a lot of washing since, you know, the weekend has happened. So not too much laundry has gotten done then. So then I'll just start washing for the day. And then usually it's just a project or something that I find to do. Um, like today I organized a closet and some other day I might go through the cabinets and just kind of wipe the interiors out. Um, some projects I've done before is mop the floors and mop like the balcony, clean the windows, just a lot of things. So, and sometimes Marina will have things for me to do um, or if she has something that she wants me to do such as dust or get spider webs down because of the lovely Australian spiders. But that's basically what my morning is like. And then usually around noon-ish or so, I'll have some lunch. And then generally we'll try to go to the gym. So I have a gym membership at Anytime Fitness, which is literally just down the road. So I go to that. And then um, if I need to run any more errands, such as run to the shops or um, quickly grab, some, grab something I do and that's kind of just my 
me time, I would say, for the day. And then I will go pick the kids up at 3.15, generally. But on a Monday and a Wednesday, it's a little bit different because Roisin has dance after school. So she usually stays after and will go to the gym or do some homework. So then I don't have to pick her up from the school until like 4.20, 4.30ish. And then we usually drive to dance from there and she'll dance for two hours. And while she's doing that, I'm usually working on my vlogs or reading or doing something of that sort. And then we usually come home and eat some dinner and next thing you know, it's bedtime already. So that's basically my Monday and Wednesdays. And then Tuesday, which is today, is a little bit different as well. So um, after school, when I, I do my normal daily things and then we'll pick them up at 3.15 and we'll come right back home actually. And then the kids usually have drama practice that evening. So they each will go for an hour. So it's one right after the other. So I drive them to that, that and usually help out with dinner. And then that's basically our evening on Tuesdays as well. Of course, unless there's something crazy going on, but this is what my typical days look like. Wednesday goes back to dancing. The only difference with Wednesday is Roisin gets up earlier because she has to go in for choir. So not only do I have to get an eight and up, I have to get Roisin up as well, which is not the easiest because she sleeps like a rock. So it's kind of difficult getting her up, but it's not too bad. So then I get her up on Wednesdays and bring her to choir with me. And Wednesday, then we have dance again that night. So pretty much the same as Mondays. And then Thursdays are probably the only other different day that I have. It's pretty similar to Tuesday. So I do all my normal things during the day. And then when I it's time for pickup, I go pick up Roisin because Aiden generally has what's called even song. So it's just a thing they do for a choir that they sing at, essentially. So I don't have to really worry about Aiden, but I do have to pick up Rasheen. So we generally come back to the house and we'll do something. Usually that's when our girls' nights are. So if we have to go to a shopping center or we'll watch a movie or something like that, um, it might change here this term. I don't know what's going to happen. Dance now can be on a Thursday night as well. Um, and she might be doing some other extracurricular activities on Thursday night. So not really sure what our Thursdays will be bringing, but that's what it has been in the past. And then Fridays is my day to sleep in. I don't have to get up until about 6.50. And then I'll get the kids up, get breakfast. Um, usually Anthony's up at that time too, since I'll bring him to the bus stop with us. And once the kids get all ready and we'll go into the bus stop and drop them off. And then I come back and do my normal things that I do. Um, changing sheets, washing towels, dusting, all of those fun things. And then Friday is generally still to pick them up at 3.15. So. It's pretty easy schedule and the weeks go by pretty darn fast as you can probably tell if you've been watching my vlogs. So it's pretty exciting. And that's basically what my days are like. Um, I do have a decent amount of free time to do things um, when the kids are in school. So it's kind of nice. I got to explore a few areas and read a few books. So. We'll see how many books I finish in my next two months. So before I know it, I'll be home. So keep following along because there won't be too many opportunities left.